it's up to you guys, and today I'm not going to be making an update on the Mickey Mouse movie, though I will be giving out a small update at the end of this video. But that's not what we're focusing on, it, but today we're going to be focusing on the Willy's Wonderland movie, like basically my own review of it. So, for the longest time, for almost a year and a half probably, there was a movie called or first a movie announced sometime in 2019 called Willy's Wonderland. Well, at, at, at the time, it was known as Wally's Wonderland. And it was a Five Nights at Freddy's sound-alike movie. So I'm like, hey, I want to see it because we have not seen, you know, the actual Five Nights at Freddy's movie um, yet. And so I'm like, okay, this is a good predecessor. We'll get to at least picture on what could possibly have happened, happen in it. But yeah, so I'm not going to tell you the whole plot, but I'm going to give out almost like a synopsis. So Nicolas Cage is playing this janitor who his car basically breaks down or or his he gets a flat tire and basically um, he's offered a job at Willy's Wonderland. And if he gets out of there alive, he'll get his car fixed for free. And but little does he know that the animatronics there are murderous and like yeah so at first i was a little worried about how this film was going to turn out because when i first saw the movie or saw the scores that it was getting from critics it concerned me not gonna lie because there was it got a pretty low score and it's still at a not a high score but it's at a decently low but yeah um, but I personally thought, and this is my honest opinion, and a lot of people have to agree with me on this, I personally didn't find it that bad. I found it a pretty enjoyable horror movie. If you're a huge Five Nights at Freddy's fan, I do actually think that this is a good idea. Like, if the movie were to get cancelled, this would be a good predecessor for it, but... But yeah. Also want to keep in mind, the plot's... It's very different compared to Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, Five Nights at Freddy's takes place at night with a night guard. Well, this movie takes place at night, but with a janitor. And plus, it doesn't take place, obviously. Yet. Like, yeah. So, there's not... I personally think this movie was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there were a few problems, like... Like, uh, for example, the characters minus live in... The janitor. I found them. I found the other characters, and I don't. And I'm positive that I'm not alone on this one. A lot of people, including me, have really had mixed feelings on, you know, the other characters. Like they're very stereotype. They're like stereotypes. So, like, yeah, I didn't care for a few characters. The only other character that was in that group was probably Kathy. But I, even then, I don't know. Liv was fine in the movie. Like, she was a good character, I'm saying. But, yeah. In terms of the kills, I thought the kills were pretty creative, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say how these kills happened, but, like, yeah. There is a few complaints I have with the kills, but I'm not going to spoil it, because I don't want, you know, you guys to get mad at me for spoiling the movie. But, what's it called? Like, I feel like a few kills were a bit too, I should say gruesome for this movie, but that's just me. But overall, I found this movie pretty enjoyable. I have no real complaints with this movie, other than, like, small complaints. So, I would personally give this movie either an 8 or a 9 of 10. Like I said, there are a few problems I have with this movie, but overall, not bad. I found it pretty enjoyable. So, oh, also, before I X out this video, I'm going to be saying one more thing about the Mickey Mouse movie. And that is, um, this is going to be very exciting to you guys. I am starting production very soon. Probably even, probably in the next few days, I'm going to try to finish most of the movie, if not all of the movie. But, like, yeah. Um, I'm not going to give out a release date until I'm completely done with the movie. I don't want to give it out a release date on when like you know it's gonna come out because this is almost like a production actually like i gotta get a few people to help me with this movie 
So, like, it's going to be a lot harder. So, it might take a little longer to come out, but I'm positive I want to get this movie out as soon as I can. And I want to just get it out and get it out of my life. Basically, you know, just get it over with. and Because I don't want to be have it fall into the same situation as Killer. So, yeah. But yeah, that's the final update I had to give. But overall, Willy's Wonderland was pretty good. I've never seen the Banana Splits movie, though I have seen clips. I don't get how the Banana Splits movie is over Willy's Wonderland. Because I personally found Willy's Wonderland a more enjoyable movie. But that's just me. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.